Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to quiet noisy valve lifters. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now before we get into this, I just want to kind of explain what exactly are noisy lifters. And it's very easy, just a quick description. It's that annoying ticking sound that you'll hear coming from under your hood when your vehicle is running, whether it's be um, you know, randomly or whether it be continuously, but it'll be that loud ticking noise. It's just very annoying. And that's usually what that is, is those are your valve lifters. And what happens is either if there's dirt in the engine oil or if your engine oil gets too low, if you have an oil leak and the levels get low, you'll hear that. Um, if there's improper spacing with the lifters or in some cases, if the valve lifters are just faulty and damaged and need to be replaced, those those are the things that will cause that. So sometimes just as simple as an oil change will correct a problem or checking your oil levels and topping it off will fix that. Sometimes you may need to get in there and actually adjust the spacing or take it to a garage or if you're handy yourself, replace the lifters themselves or you can add additives to it which can go in there and help um, add that extra lubrication to fix the problem. Now there's several products out there that claim to do that. Um, I've reviewed a few of them. Uh, there's one by Rislon, which is their engine oil treatment, which claims that it quiets noisy lifters. I did a product review, which you can check out via the link above, where I pretty much put it to the test in this vehicle that we're going to be also showcasing in this video. We went in there, we added it, and in that video I show, you know, as far as what that product did to eliminate that noise. Um, another product that I did a review is this one here from Lucas, which is their heavy-duty oil stabilizer. We also put that to the test. You can check that out via the link above. But basically, we put that into the same vehicle. We saw how that performed. We gave that a rating as well, so you can check that out. But for this video here, I'm not doing a product review, but rather I'm going to show you what I found works to quiet those lift lifters the most successfully without actually going in and doing mechanical work to the vehicle. And we're using the same vehicle that those products were tested in. So. For this particular vehicle, what I'm going to be doing is combining these products here by Lucas because I found that combined, they actually perform the best. I'm sure people will comment in with their opinions as far as whether they agree or disagree, and I would love to hear the feedback as far as what worked for you. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be combining the Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer with the Lucas Engine Oil uh, Stop Leak. I also did a product review on that if you want to check that out via the link above where I kind of put that to the test and we saw how it really helped and if it helped with, with a, um, a leak. So the reason why I combine it with this one is because at least I found a lot of the times what gets you to that point where, you're, where your lifters are having issues is because the engine oil levels went down due to a leak. So putting the stop leak in there helps seal that. Also the texture of this is very thick and sticky, even is the case also with this one here. However, I found when you put the two together, it just seems to be the most effective. Now, for the oil stabilizer, they recommend putting as much as 60% of your engine oil capacity in, and with the engine oil stop leak, they recommend putting up to 20%. So what I do is, since I'm combining them, I will use the heavy duty oil stabilizer, put up to 40%, and then use this one here, the engine oil stop leak, to take on that additional 20% to bring it up to 60. So depending on your capacity, it will pretty much determine how much you're going to put in. For this particular vehicle, I'm dealing with a, a vehicle that, that takes five quarts. So what I did is I went ahead and did the 60%, which came out to be three quarts. So I did two of the stabilizer, one of um, the engine oil stop leak. So we're going to head out to the vehicle now. I'm going to show you the issues we're having. We're going to go ahead, add it to it, see how it performs, and then we'll be back to conclude this video. So let's head out there and do it. For this video, what you're going to need is you're going to need two quarts of Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer, one of the engine oil stop leak, since we're going to go ahead and combine those, and then of course you'll need your oil and filter for your vehicle, because we're going to be changing out the oil and filter at the same time before we put this in. I'm going to start by adding the Lucas engine oil stop leak to this vehicle first. This particular vehicle did have 
an oil leak as well. So that's why we're putting that in. Plus it also incorporates some very thick and sticky fluids that will help kind of get onto those loose parts and stop that rattling noise in addition with the oil stabilizer. So we're gonna go ahead and put this first quart of the Lucas stop leak in first. And then we'll follow it up with the two quarts of oil stabilizer before we top off the oil. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the two quarts of the heavy duty oil stabilizer after you've put in the engine oil stop leak. Let's add this too. And keep in mind that you can add 60% of your oil capacity, you can use this oil stabilizer. We're only doing 40% because the other 20% we're using the stop leak because of it being a, a, a thicker, stickier substance to help put an end to the noisy valve lifters. Sometimes if you just use the oil stabilizer by itself, depending how bad of a uh, valve lifter issue you have, that's not enough to, to take care of it. It'll help it, but it won't take care of it 100%. Okay, so we went ahead and we finished putting in the, the two quarts. So now we have a total of 60% of the capacity of, of this engine. Now, depending on what your oil capacity is, that ratio may be different. So we have one quart of the oil uh, stop leak, and then we have two quarts of the stabilizer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check the levels, top it off accordingly with the motor oil, and then we'll go ahead and test it. All right, so everything is topped off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up. We're gonna go ahead and start it, try it out, and see if that took care of our noisy valve lifter issue. Taking it for a little spin right now, let it kind of work its way through, and then we'll test it again when we get back make sure that the the ticking is gone okay so we're taking it for a drive now let it really kind of work its way in what i'd like to do is get the rpms high a little bit really get things moving i can already hear it quieting down what little bit of the tick was still left now keep in mind, this is something that you're gonna have to do every time you do an oil change. It's not like you do it one time and you're good to go. Every time you do an oil change, you wanna add this combination of the Lucas engine oil stop leak with the oil stabilizer, along with a high mileage um, oil, if your car has a lot of mileage on it, and that should take care of it. So we're driving it now, higher RPMs, and then we'll come back to see how it sounds. If you listen closely as I accelerate, you will hear a very, very, very faint, let's see if you can hear it, very faint muted tapping sound, but as soon as I let go of the acceleration, it's as quiet as a mouse. Definitely silenced these noisy lifters. And you can hear it there, completely quiet. You are hearing a little bit of a ticking, but that's the GDI fuel pump on the Kia that makes that noise, but as far as the valve lifters, they are completely taken care of and quiet. Okay, well we just got back, and as we saw in that video, you could clearly see the difference before and after adding those additives to the engine. Um, as shown in the video, and as I mentioned already, didn't take care of it 100%, but it did take it down a lot to where that annoying ticking sound is virtually gone. I mean, if you accelerate, you'll hear very faintly, but once you lay the, uh, the um, stress off of the engine like that, you don't hardly hear anything. As mentioned already before, this is not a permanent cure. Uh, what this will do is this will at least quiet them down. You will have to do this at your next oil change. Depending what kind of issue your lifters have, as far as if there's any damage, sometimes the only way to actually fix that is to physically go in there and do the mechanical work. But in the meantime, this right here is a great way to silence them. It's easy for anyone to do. All you really need to be able to know is how to change your oil. When you do your oil change, you mix the, you mix the correct ratio, top it off with the engine oil. After that, 
and that should quiet down your lifters very good. So please send me any comments or questions you may have. I do want to hear any feedback from any of you out there as far as if you've used this before or what maybe you used that has worked. Put some comments in there for the other viewers to see. That would be greatly appreciated. As always, I appreciate all of the support. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.